Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a tapestry. This is my very first actual tapestry, and it's a lot bigger than my table. So what I did is I folded it in half horizontally, and then I folded it in half vertically, and I found my center point, and then I just airplane folded it back and forth until I had this triangle shape. And now I'm working on the mandala part, and I need a lot of practice. This was really hard for me to do. I am tying it off with sinew because I do want to create white lines. I have this sped up really fast because it took me about an hour and a half to tie up. I think in the future they'll go a lot quicker, but I wasn't really sure what I was doing, and I'm not used to working with this stiffer, thicker fabric. So I'm just gonna let you watch this and then uh, we'll get into it when we start adding the dye. Hindsight is 2020. I sure did make that look a lot harder than it actually is. Tapestries really aren't that difficult and they do create a real wow factor. Um, they're a lot of fun. So when choosing my colors, I decided to go with colors that I like and I wanted to do a light color and a dark color. So I'm doing a light purple and a dark purple, and then a light green and a dark green, and then some contrasting colors. And I'm going to repeat them all through the tapestry, just so it has a really cohesive look. So if you're watching this September 23rd of 2022, today is my birthday. And so what a better day than my birthday to give away a tapestry. 
So stay tuned until the end so you can see the tapestry that you're going to be winning. So to enter into this tapestry giveaway, all I ask is that you please go over to my sister channel, which is Pacific Northwest and beyond, and make sure you subscribe, please. And then just give the most recent video like a 30 second view. That's all you gotta do. And leave a comment because the comment will be your entry. And then when the giveaway is over, I will go in, I will read your comment, and I will add you in for the drawing. And then for a second tapestry giveaway, I would like for you to please go over to Goyo's Garden and Tie-Dyes, Greg, check out his channel, make sure that you are subscribed, watch his tapestry tutorial, and leave a comment, and that will be a second entry for a second tapestry. I just want to point out that the die jars that are underneath my rack down inside of the bin, those are empty die jars. Never put your full die jars down underneath an ice die where there's potential for them to get wet. Next, I give the project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure. I'm going to be adding quite a bit of ice to this project, so I want to make sure that the pH stays up around 10.5 to 11. And then it's recommended that you let your project batch at 70 degrees or higher for at least 24 hours. And I can tell you that this project batched for the full 48 hours. Now it's time for the rinse out. You wanna start by using cold water. That's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then increase your water up too hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I like to do hot water cycles using Kirilon. Kirilon is a professional textile detergent that I get from Dharma Trading Company. And then I like to do a final hot water cycle using Milsoft and Melsoft is a professional fabric softener that I also get from Dharma. And you can find links for both of those down below in the description box, along with everything else that I use for tie-dye. So go ahead and check that out. And then I pulled it out and I stuck it in the dryer for just a few minutes, and then I ironed it while it was still damp. And then we'll come back and we'll see the results. Real quick. So head over to Pacific Northwest and beyond. I will put it on the end screen. All you have to do is click it. It'll take you right on over there. Please subscribe and then watch the most recent video. We'll just watch 30 seconds of it. We'll just leave a comment. It should take you about 30 seconds to leave a comment and that'll be your entry. And then head over to Goyo's Garden and Tie-Dye's Greg. He's going to have a tapestry video going this morning that is going to be your second entry into winning this tapestry and the one that he's creating. And so leave a comment over there and then in a couple of days, I'll tally everybody up and we'll send these tapestries out to the winners. Well, here it is guys, my very first official tapestry. I love this thing. I think it turned out beautiful. I love the color combination. I love the pattern. I just love everything about it. And it looks even prettier in person. So the lime pop, it just never disappoints me. It just makes everything glow. It's such a great highlight color. So if you love this tapestry as much as I do, go on over and get yourself entered in to win it. I wish I had one to give away to everybody, but I only have this one. And so if you haven't made yourself a tapestry yet, do it. They are a lot of fun to make and they're just so rewarding. 
So what do you guys think? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing!